Hi guys and welcome back to a brand new video. So Styx Shards of Darkness may just be one of the most hardcore stealth games out there. We take on the role of the Goblin Styx, a nimble arrogant assassin with a dark 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 sense of humour. And our objective in this game is to fight against Carnage, which is basically a group with the objective to take down the goblins. So let's start off by talking about the gameplay. Like I said, this is one hardcore stealth game. You only even get the chance to kill on the easier difficulties. Go on the harder difficulties and the only kills you can perform are stealth kills. So if they discover you, it's practically game over. And even so, on the easier modes, if you do get seen, the only way to kill is by performing a successful parry. And even if you do do a successful parry, if you want to kill them, it is going to take some time. And chances are you will die by somebody else. So the really only way to play this game is stealthy, and it's great. You know there's games that are pure run and gun mayhem, that don't even give you the chance in the slightest to go stealthy, maybe something like Doom or Duke Nukem. This is the exact opposite, you must play stealth, no cheap ways of getting through running and gunning, this is one of the few true stealth games. So though you don't really get any weapons, you can craft a few useful tools like boats to take enemies out from afar, you have a lot of creative ways to kill your enemies in this game, from luring them to a trap, to poison their food and drink, to using one of your various abilities. The ways to kill in this game are a lot of fun. They've also included a co-op mode in this title where you can join a friend, though I haven't got to try it out too much but it does seem a lot of fun and this definitely multiplies the creativity in this already really creative game. When it comes to the world, it's not a free roam game but you do get the freedom to take the path you like to get to the objective. Maybe there's a path that takes longer but has few enemies and maybe there's another one that's shorter but has a ton of enemies. Maybe there's a big house and you can choose how to clear it, maybe you want to cut down the chandeliers. When it comes to player freedom, it is absolutely great. The environments do seem a bit monotonous sometimes, except every now and then, but it's nothing too bad. As for the graphics, they're done with Unreal Engine 4, so they look great and it seems well optimised for PC. As for the character, for me, this is one of the strong points of the game. He keeps you company quite literally. He talks to you, he knows you aren't him, and he jokes every time you or he dies. Did you stream that? I want a percentage on your best goblin death compilation. Hey, where's my convenient pile of straw? Where am I supposed to jump to? It's really great and some of the in-game jokes and humour is just funny as hell and he does a great job of breaking the fourth wall. As for the sound, there's really not much I have to say, I really didn't have any problems with it, so it's good. So yeah guys, even if this game isn't for everybody, if you have the slightest interest in stealth, this is a must buy. For me, it's a 7.5 out of 10. Thanks to Focus Home for the review copy, and yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go like and subscribe. Remember, you can follow me on Twitter, and we'll see you next time guys.